okay? Whatever whatever that coach is teaching you, we're going to fine tune it a little bit more, okay? For you two guys, I know you've been around it, so listen up and listen closely, okay? This is going to be your secondary stance. Where's my glove? Is my glove behind you? With your secondary stance, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it real quick, and then we're gonna move to the next cage. I'll have to set up one more. Uh, with the secondary stance, this is when we have uh, a runner on first, runner on second, runner on third, or runner on first or second. Uh, but it, primarily, what we're focused on right now is runner on first. Okay, we want to be do we want to be long long stride, long throw, or do we want to be short and fast? Short, short, short and fast. Short and fast. Why do we want to be short and fast, Steve? Less time. Why do we want to be short and fast, Josh? Now, give me something else. Um, so you can get up quicker. Get up quicker. Okay. How about you, Peyton? Um, uh, just better pop time. Better pop time. Okay. The pop time is going to take care of itself. Uh, one thing that I noticed with, it, with a few of you is number one, we're long and long. Okay. What that means is that when the ball's coming, some of you are going out to get the ball, and you're going out with both hands to get the ball. All right, and then on top of that, you're going out. Look what I'm doing. I'm going out, I'm going up, then I'm going long, and then I'm stepping out in front. But look what happens with my arm, right? With you, you're very erratic, and I'm gonna use you just because you have the most work right now, okay? With you, I believe you were open like this. Is that, is that correct? Can you show me? That way I can work off of that. Oh, I was? Yeah, you're throwing down. So just set yourself up like you're gonna throw down. Okay, go. Okay, great. He's six feet tall. He's already wide open, right? And when he receives the ball, he receives the ball like this as he's going up, right? Eye angle, eye angles, and everything is changing. And then he's coming out with a long back stride, coming forward. And one throw would go out that way. The other one would go this way. You maybe had two throws that were consistent. Right? So how do we change that? Well, we get our position, right? We give our side. How do we want to position ourselves with our feet? Penguin feet, right? And all we're going to do, it's already staggered, right? We're just going to stagger it just a little bit more, all right? I know some coaches may tell you, hey, open up so you can be quicker. But are you really going to be quicker if you have to block a ball to the other side of the plate? No. Are you giving the best target possible to your pitcher? No. Listen, our job still is to get this guy out because he can still do some damage, right? So, hey, we're already staggered here. <clears throat> I'm going to go from the beginning. I give my sign. Boom, there's a pitcher. Man off first. Where am I? All right, my target is high right now, but that works for me. And it also depends on the pitcher. You still want to try your best to keep a low target. If you notice my hand is behind the glove. It is open. I do not keep it in a fist because there's still a chance of getting, catching a foul ball. So if I catch that foul ball, it's gonna hit, and it's gonna sting a little bit, but it, it won't break a bone, okay? So I stay here. When I'm coming through, I receive, boom, as close as I can, and all I did was a quick pivot and a strike, right? So that's what we're gonna work on over there. You see a couple plus signs over there? We're gonna work on that right now. So